Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I want to show you how to cook one of my favorite recipes in the air fryer, and that is air fryer homemade sausage rolls. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. Now back to those sausage rolls. Oh, I don't know about you, but they're my favorite treat at Christmas. We always have some homemade ones for Christmas morning that I've made the day before. It's always become our picnic food as well. We'll slice them up and serve them at a picnic. And they're just a fantastic all-rounder, and especially for when you've got some leftover sausage meat that needs using up. And you can just use half a roll of sausage meat and it'll make two large sausage rolls, and then you can chop them up and enjoy them however you wish. I often make sausage rolls for when uh, me and the hubby and the kids are having a picnic in the park, or maybe we're going to the beach. It's just one of those great things. And then I tend to make a batch at Christmas time as well because it's lovely to have warm sausage rolls for brunch when the kids are opening the presents and they ain't going to eat a normal breakfast, it just makes a good plan B. So if you've not made sausage rolls before, uh, for example in the US, many of you haven't, it's just uh, sausage meat inside pastry. It's very, very simple. So I, I bought some sausage meat from the butchers and what I've done is I've sliced it in half because I'm going to be doing another video showing you how to make a Slimming World Weight Watchers version. So this is the version with the main uh, pastry in. So you'll need that. You'll need some pastry, which I've actually chopped in half as well because I wanted to show you another air fry pastry recipe. And then of course, we've also got some egg wash. So those are the three main ingredients you need to make sausage rolls in the air fryer. So now I've explained the ingredients, let's get making homemade sausage rolls. Well, of course we've got the pastry. So I recommend first that you flour your worktop. So it stops it sticking. And then do your hands as well. Just kind of do an imprint like that. And then stick your dough in. And then it's ready for rolling out. Kids will be so jealous, they absolutely love making pastry with the mummy. But when I when I go and pick them up from school in less than an hour, I will actually be able to say, look what I made for you today. But they're in baking class today, so I'm not sure whether they'll be interested. They might be. So it just rolls out so perfect into this homemade pastry. And of course, if you wanted to cheat, you can just grab some of your favorite puff pastry instead and just roll it up. Oops, why does that always happen to me? And just press it back down again and you're good. Like that. You want it so that you can easily roll it. And now it's ready to be loaded up. So you just grab your sausage meat Hubby always complains I don't add enough sausage meat, which is true, I don't. I always kind of think, oh, can I make more than one recipe out of this bit of sausage meat? So that's what happens. But yeah, you can add just a layer like that. And I've actually seen recipes where people make them vegetarian and they mix cheese with breadcrumbs as the inside, which sounds interesting. I will try that one of these days. And then, because I'm at the cottage, I've forgotten my egg wash brush. So I'm just going to use my hands. So forgive the hands, please. Right, and then once you've done like that, it's ready for rolling. So what I recommend is that you roll it across like that first. Add in some more egg wash. And then roll it up. And then you 
can just pull those bits back, add some extra egg wash. It's ready for the air fryer then. So then it's up to you how you want to cook it in the air fryer. You could do, if you're doing snack size ones, you could go for a slice now. Uh, if you're doing whole, you can just do it in half. And what I recommend first is that you lose the bit off the end because that's never got any meat on it anyway. So, same again on this side. I'm not going all the way through here, by the way, because it's someone's, it's an Airbnb and I don't want to ruin their work top. So then you've got a nice double one there. So now all I suggest you do is you go down the middle and then you've got two sausage rolls. So like that. Two sausage rolls, as you can see. And then we're just going to a knife in the top of them. And there they are, they're ready for the air fryer. So I'm just going to do a quick clean up and then we can get them on. So, we cleaned up and now it's time to get these sausage rolls in the air fryer. I love about the Phillips air fryers, it perfectly fits two big sausage rolls like that. So have a closer look, that's what they look like going in the air fryer. And then we're going with a high temperature, higher than I normally use, just because it adds extra colour to the sausage rolls. So we're looking for 200 Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit, and a cook time of 10 minutes. And then we can come and check on them. And we've baked. So shall we check on those scrummy homemade sausage rolls? Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's all I can say. You know, I noticed so many recipes call for 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit in recipes. And most of the time I say, don't touch that time and temp just because it's too high. But for something like sausage rolls where your aim is just golden colored pastry, it's absolutely spot on. So we've allowed the sausage rolls to cool a bit and I just want to show you how good they look. I mean, they're like proper sausage rolls that you would get from the bakery. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Coupland's and I love Betty's and I love similar places where they do perfect pastry with the sausage rolls. And let me check into them and show you how good they are. And they look absolutely perfect. So at this point, you could also chop them up and make them into party sausage rolls if you wanted, depending on how you're using them. And something else I wanted to mention is that even though the pastry looked quite sticky when it went in with the egg wash and everything, this is how dirty the air fryer basket got. They didn't actually stick at all when we removed them from the air fryer. It's just absolutely fantastic. And if you're worried that you'll need um, foil or something, then don't worry because you really don't. And you just have to look at how delicious those sausage rolls look to know that it's just uh, one of the pastries that you must be cooking from now on in your air fryer. Right, I've cut a little bit off the end of my sausage rolls to try them because uh, even though I wanted to show you what they were like on here, it's like um, our little boy George, he absolutely loves mummy's homemade sausage rolls. So I promised him I'm going to save him the rest of the sausage roll. Mm. Oh, lovely. And just look at the centre of that sausage roll, doesn't it look absolutely amazing? Well, I'm going to be a good, good mummy and leave the rest of this for George as his treat for when he comes home from school tonight. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. 
But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic With Gadgets. Simply search Magic With Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 